Hello and welcome to this video on how to build a plan in Degreed. My name is Tom Rinkowski. So plans are pages in Degreed that allow you to group together content, pathways and skills so that you can direct your learner through a body of curated learning. They're really helpful when you want to help that learner understand a more complex subject area. And they're so, so flexible. You can really use them however you need. And you're really just creating a web page of learning within the Degreed framework. To create your plan, visit your profile page on Degreed here in the top and lower down beneath the skills that you've identified, you'll see the option of creating a plan. So if you click that button, I'm going to create a plan for business process. So teaching someone uh, something specific about being a business process specialist. You can also add a subtitle, short description, a thumbnail, picture image, which will appear as part of the plan. The visibility is set to private just for yourself. When you're ready, you can share it with any of your collaborators in Degreed. Uh, you can also have it auto-populate, so we'll do some auto-population here. It's going to populate based off of the title that I've given it, and we will create the plan. So what Degreed's going off and using its uh, AI infrastructure to come in and bring in different data. In, in the initial beginnings, you can see here it's brought in a set of skills that relate to business process. I can add some additional skills if I think there are some missing can also change the title of any of the sections on the page. If you want to add a section, you get a choice of either adding a specific link, a text area that might describe the page in more detail, uh, another area that outlines specific skills, pathways, plans that might relate to your plan, uh, content like videos or articles that you think are very important should be up-leveled onto the page, other groups that might belong in degree that also should be as part of your plan and then finally specific people that might be for example a business process specialist that you might want to add to the page so you've got lots of options to add additional sections to the page and what i like is that you can also add additional and text areas to these sections here so i can say rate your skills please go ahead and rate your skills. there we go so at the moment it's compact just to one Lit one uh, one row of skills. I'm going to expand it to two. Hit save, and straight away that text is updated. Um, if I uh, generally I like to have a bit more of an introduction at the beginning. So if I don't have a, a description underneath the subtitle, I'll add a text area. Uh, and we'll just call it welcome. Okay, and we'll just have that section now. As soon as I've saved it, it's positioned right at the top of the page uh, and then I've got the skills then I've got my pathways then I've got content and then the ability to add sections uh, I'm going to apply the suggestions that Degreed have made in terms of content items so Degreed's just committing those items to the page and I'm going to change the order of the sections on the page I'm going to move the content section underneath the text area then the pathways and skills just so that the flow is a little bit cleaner. Um, and so now I get straight to my content items. I'm going to remove some of these existing cards that I don't think they're as relevant. Now, you might need to think about planning before you start building your page by adding content to your collection. So by adding content to your collection, your lifelong learning record, it then gives you the option of adding from your collection page to your existing plan. So temporarily, I'm just going to click done edit. Here's my nice plan built out and ready with a couple of assets. But if I know that I completed some learning and it's on my profile and I wish to add it to my plan, I'm gonna visit my collection and I'm going to choose this particular uh, book here or summary. Hit the three dots in the bottom right hand corner of the card and then choose add to plan. Your plan will be offered here, so business process specialist. And as soon as I've added the content card to the plan, I get the option to edit the plan. 
and immediately it's visible on the plan. I've got a title here, which you might want to change, you know, step one, please review this content um, and other directions that you might want to give people. Have a play around, add different content items to your plan. Um, if you find anything and you, you need any questions around building plans, feel free to drop a comment below. Please share with me any plans that you've built. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching.